Well, Jerry, a case of playing the conditions better this afternoon? Well, a case of just trying to get three points, hooker by crook. We um, we know at this stage of the season, you've only got to see the results. I said it last game that it's it's a stage of the season where people are always playing for something, whether you're trying to stay up, whether you're trying to go for the playoffs or whether you're trying to get promoted. There's some real funny results because tension comes into it, anxiety. And you rightly say this stage of the season, we've never seen so much rain. And this is a really tricky one, Danny, a real tricky pitch. It's it borderline on being dangerous at times because the standing leg gives way. And um, you can see how much it saps the energy of the players. We've played, we played two games in a short space of time. I'm just chatting to someone there. And, and I think the substitutes played a key part actually in the game because just when we're out on our feet a little bit, they come on and they, they control the game a little bit better. They can run up the pitch with the ball a little bit better and their dynamic movement's a little bit better than the boys that have actually put in such a huge shift. Um, they, they're out on their feet. So um, firstly, firstly, well done to my group because trying to, trying to win over Easter period is never easy and certainly on these pitches. So four points over Easter period is a very good return and I believe we've gone back into the playoffs so it's in our hands. Um, and, and good luck to Taunton, genuinely. I mean this. I, I, I like them as a club. I like Rob a lot. And I think they try and do things as best they can. And he's had a real difficult time this year because of circumstance. And I hope they pull out of the pull out of the relegation battle because I enjoy coming here. And um, and they're good people. How key was it to score so early? Because played Taunton twice mm. last year, failed to score against them at all. We know that defensively they can sit in, but suddenly when you're ahead inside two and a half minutes, they've got to come out a little bit. It opens it up. Well, that, naturally, that's lovely. It's lovely. That's two great goals, by the way. I'm not going to give the game any... And service just injustice here, but that it, it was a it was a game that was always going to be a bit scrappy, maybe for set pieces. But I think our two goals in open play were absolutely magnificent, absolutely absolutely magnificent. So um, yeah, really pleased. Cody has been working. To, I thought he was magnificent again at the top. Great finish, wonderful, wonderful move, and great finish. And young Jack, when he goes on, might have been disappointed to not start. Didn't feel as if it was going to be his pitch, but we put him on in a position there at number ten. John Love takes some credit on it as well because he's on the side and talking it through with me and we're thinking, right, we're going to have to get a three. How do we do it? So um, he goes on and he, he looked really comfortable in that position and he was trying to score just before that. But then he found his opening and it was right behind it. Wonderful goal. Um, but yeah, wonderful. Wonderful from the boys. Over the two games with Taunton, two wins, five goals, no goals conceded. Um, and they're not easy to play against. So we've got to take some credit from that. Take some credit for the sidelines as well, because it's a gamble to change shape for this one. And mm. sort of three, four, three, which uh, mm. haven't done many times in between playing Taunton at home. I probably caught you out, did I, with that one? <laughs> um, yeah, listen, I wanted to keep it close to my chest, and that's no disrespect. We we came here, we played against them and matched them up at home because they were a totally different team in personnel then. But we know they'd have been a little bit disjointed in players playing in positions that they probably are not accustomed to too much. Um, so we felt as if we wanted to be a bit more aggressive against them with the three against the three. And, and we wanted to get crosses in and switches of play. So, listen, with you and going out the team as well, we weren't left with too many wingers. Only had L's, but they did. I thought they did really well in that shape. See, we haven't worked on it and just spoke it through in the dressing room. Um, we have played it before, obviously, but the personnel seemed to fit in today. I thought Duncan, Jack and Geordie were great as a back three, a goalkeeper again, but then I'm going from all again. So, um, yeah, really good team performance this stage of the season. Three points, two goals away from home and a clean sheet is, um, is very pleasing as a manager. Yeah, defensively, I said all, all three of them performed well, but especially Jack Bannon, who mm. barely played <coughs> excuse me, in 2024, but mm. got a head injury early on. He got an assist. Yeah, special mention because he's had to be patient. And, you know, players aren't going to be pleased around the team. I say it all the time, but we have got players with great attitudes. So when they're ready, you know, a little conversation with me yesterday, I'm ready, Gaffer. In fact, he's ready weeks ago as well. So, listen, he's had, he's had, it, he's had it difficult because we put him on the slow game, like just rushed it in there and got him in. He's had to go on at Chelmsford. But he knew about this game. He knew he knew he was going to be ready. He prepared himself for, properly like he always does. I thought it was great. And a lot of people would have played Jack in the middle, played Duncan on the left and Jordan on the right probably. But we felt as if we wanted to get Duncan in the middle, winning all his headers, which I thought he did, his duels. Jack comfortably stepping out with the ball and hitting diagonals and passes. And Jordan's adapted with his left foot as well as his right. So I thought that worked well for us. So, yeah, we got a lot right today. And, um, and we'll be really pleased tonight. And... Five games left in our hands. Home game to come against Tombridge. Big crowd. Wonderful support. Thanks for everyone coming down. Bank holiday Monday. Crap weather. The M5 is absolutely chock-a-block. We've seen coming down. Fantastic effort from our fans. Really vocal. Really supporting the boys. Uh, can't thank them enough. And we'll look forward to seeing them back at Twerton Park. Yeah, just on to that game against Tunbridge mid-table team. Yeah. Said it'd be like Weymouth, they might play with a bit of freedom. Will you be hoping to have a couple of players back? Your Boa, Clark, maybe? All of them. 
I think all of them will be back. I think we'll have Kieran back. I think we'll have Yaboa back. Another lad from Bristol City we got coming in that hasn't been announced yet. Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll hopefully all be back in. You and as you rightly say, so yeah, we um, we need them. We need them. That's for sure. We're going to need them for the running, and then it's up to me what type of team we'll have a look at. Tombridge, have a see, have a see what type of team we'll pick, and they're not all going to play at the same time with a running, but we have to try and get it right. It's not going to be easy. We're going to have to juggle it in the right way. And um, they will do a lot of training, that's for sure. Be a lot of tactical stuff. But we've got a group now that we put ourselves back in a good position. It's up to us. Good luck for Saturday. Well done for four points over the Easter weekend. Cheers. Thanks, Martin. Hope you get better soon.